Calendario is charged with her daughter Jailene's murder. Court documents show the 31-year-old admitted to leaving her baby home alone June 8th while she went on vacation to Puerto Rico and Detroit. When Calendario returned home eight days later, police say she found Jailene unresponsive. We were absolutely heartbroken. We loved Jailene a lot. Iris and Sulem wish Calendario would have asked them to watch Jailene. I wish for her to pay what she did to her daughter. Instead, they're left with an investigation and reminders of Jailene's many visits. Jailene really didn't deserve what happened to her. She was amazing and really adorable. And I miss her a lot. Inside in, inside out. Living la vida loca. I don't know the rest. Yes, indeed. Let's get it. Living la vida loca. Let's get it. Who we gonna slay today? Yes, indeed. Let's get it. The champ is here. Mm. Mm -mm. That's some good coffee. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Who is on the docket today? Okay. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members. All subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, yes, we have a story out of Ohio by way of Cleveland. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Ohio. Everybody in the great city of Cleveland. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank y'all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, also before I start this story, I want to send a special condolence out to the little infant that lost her life. Yes, a sad situation. Now, also before I start this story, I want you all to think, what if we had these kind of parents that I do stories on, like the story I'm about to do today, this helpful right here, yes. And one thing about Cleveland, Ohio, you know, much love to my people in Cleveland, much love to everybody in Ohio, but every time around this time of year, yeah, when the summer starts kicking off, Ohio starts studding up. You would think it would be Florida or Georgia or Louisiana or Texas. No, Ohio is off the chain. Now, we have a helpful, yes, a so-called mom. She shouldn't be called a mom. She uh should be called, what's that word? Start with an M, yeah. Mammy, she should be called a mammy. Now, this woman decided to leave her daughter and go on a vacation. And out of all places, she went to damn Detroit. And no offense to anybody in Detroit, but what the hell is in Detroit that you want to go on vacation for? And also, she went to Puerto Rico. I can understand Puerto Rico, you know, but at the same time, Detroit. Now, she stayed gone for eight days. And when she came back, she found her daughter deceased or whatnot. And one must have to wonder, what the hell was she expecting when she came back if you left the child home alone? For eight days while you've been out just b -b -b balling. You get what I'm saying? Living La Vida Loca. Now, this helper is in jail charged with a felony, yes. And also charged with murder, rightfully so. Because how in the hell do you expect an infant, number one, to take care of themselves? And also, Miss Christelle, why did you not uh, contact a family or friend or somebody to look after your child while you went balled out? Anyway, this is why some people say some people shouldn't have children. And I totally agree with that. And that's why I say they need to pass laws regarding some people have children. Because some people do not need to have children. Either they beat them to death, kill them, you know, or just leave them home alone and let them die. Now, sad situation. Anyway, I know today is Friday. I know that you all have a lot to do. I have a lot to do today. So we're not going to tarry long. We're going to be strong. Anyway, I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, infant girl dies after mom left her alone for eight days while she went on vacation to, yes, Detroit, out of all places, and also Puerto Rico. Anyway, a 31-year-old Cleveland mother has been charged for the death of her six-month-old daughter after she allegedly left the child alone for eight days while she vacationed in Puerto Rico and also Detroit, Michigan. And once again, my people, everybody in Detroit, much love to you all, but what the hell is in Detroit that makes you want to go on a vacation? Now, I can understand Puerto Rico, Paris, Tahiti, some damn well, but Detroit, come on now. They're just like you taking a damn vacation to damn uh, San Antonio. Anyway, let's continue. My people in Detroit mad right now. I'm talking about Trey, you ain't going to talk about us like that. We do got the Lions, and yeah, they ain't won a Super Bowl since when. Anyway, now, according to Cleveland Municipal Court records, the mom, Christelle A. Candelario, 31 years old, looking at her bit. No, I don't give a damn about my child. No, I did not make any provisions for her. 48 in the face is charged with murder, and that's a first-degree felony. And worse than that, they need to charge her with aggravated stupidity. Because how stupid you got to be to leave your child alone just to go damn near halfway across the damn world just to be balling? I don't understand that part. You leave and jump on a plane, go way to Puerto Rico, while the whole time your child is left home alone. What you thought you was going to find when you came back home? 
You thought you were gonna find your child in the kitchen cooking, talking on the cell phone, looking up things on Facebook? Like, be for real. What did you expect from a six month old child? Poor thing. Just imagine you sitting there and you waiting for your mom to come home. You thirsty. You ain't had your pepper change in a day or two. You ain't had a drink of water. No nothing. And then mom come back eight days later like it's all good. Anyway, now authorities responded to the 3100 block of West 97th Street on June 16th after Candelario found the child unresponsive. Like, how else you thought you was going to find the child? She told the police that she left the 16-month-old at home while she went on vacation from June the 8th all the way to the 16th, says the court workers. A damn shame. Like, what was so important with this damn vacation? And hopefully this will be your last damn vacation that you take. The next vacation will be uh, the School of Hard Knocks, the State Penitentiary. That's exactly where you should be at. And no, they did not say anything about the dad because every time these parents kill one of their children, they always throw the other parent in there like he the one or she the one did it. Now look here, if it was a man that left the child, we will be talking about the man. We cannot sit up here and fault both parents because we don't understand, nor do we know what's really going on with the other parent. And worse than that, some people say maybe if the other parent was around, the child wouldn't be dead. No, if the parent right here would have made provisions to have her child looked after properly, the child would still be alive. We cannot sit up here and blame people who is not in the picture. And once again, they did not state what a father was. They didn't say anything about him. But sometimes in the comment section, if you have all noticed that when I do stories like this, you know, whether it's male or female, they will always blame what? The other spouse, like the other spouse is the one responsible. Anyway, let's close up because somebody got mad at that. The police said the child's parking plate consisted of soil blankets and a bottom liner saturated with urine and feces. According to court records, child couldn't even change herself. You know damn well a 16-month-old child could not change himself. Some of y'all grown folks ain't even wiping properly back there. Go check them white drawers. I bet you see a brown streak in there. Anyway, so what do you expect from a child? Like, and how could you just be somewhere day after day, even one day, even a half a day? You get what I'm saying? That's why I gotta salute all the good parents out there, the moms and dads who take our time and make provisions for their children. And true enough, I understand, you know, you wanna go let your hair down. You wanna go have a little fun, but at the same time, your main responsibility and priority is that child. That's why you should make provisions for the child. You're going to do what you want to do after that, but make sure you bring your butt back home and get your what? Your child. Anyway, now, the Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Office hasn't said what the child's official cause of death is, but the court record states she was extremely dehydrated. And hell, I bet so, because I can't even go a few hours without a cup of water, so I can imagine how long eight days would be without a damn drop of water or milk. Now, the mother's currently being held in the Cuyahoga County Jail in lieu of a $1 million bond, and they need to keep her butt right there. And also, Miss Christelle, with your dumb self, I hope that trip to Detroit and also Puerto Rico was worth it. I hope that you was able to tell everybody in Puerto Rico and Detroit bye, because guess what? <laughs> the state of Ohio is going to deal with you. And the fact that you're charged with murder in the nation that you did this child, true enough, you should pay with your life also. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. What do you think should happen to Miss Christelle? And also, once again, look here. I know it's the summertime, but at the same time, look here. You're not 15 no more. You're not 16, 17. If you're an adult, be an adult. If you sat down and made a child, guess what? Take care of the child. But at the same time, you know, if you want to go somewhere and go on vacation, if you don't take your child with you, make sure, and that's common sense, make sure you have a family or friend or somebody that you can trust that will watch your child. You feel what I'm saying? Because guess what? What is that important for you to go on vacation for and leave your child to die? Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. And once again, thank you to my subscribers for sending me this story. So if you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. The next time, you all stay blessed. Have a great weekend. And take care of those children. Love those children. Like I always tell you all, if you can't look after those children properly or take care of them, give them to somebody who will. And guess what? I'm sure somebody will take care of that child. But this little child deserves a lot more better than what she got. A sad situation. And then the mom sitting up there looking like the Grinch that stole Christmas. The Grinch that went on vacation. Anyway, love all of you all. You have a great weekend. I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.